Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to give you a quick video showing how to use our brand new motion design elements animated cloth product. This product comes with 50 different pre-simulated animations. So once you purchase this, you can just go to your account at the pixelab.net and log in. You can go to your download section and find this cloth pack, click view downloads, and here are all of your links for the 50 different simulations. If you go down to the bottom, there is a starter download. And if you download that and unzip it, you're gonna have this folder with all these different options. One is a PDF, so you can just open that and see a still frame of each cloth animation. It has a few tips for using it down here as well. Or if you wanna see the full animations, you can click on the folder here, so you can quickly preview them and pick the animation that you want to download. All right, so we're gonna pick number 21 as our sample here for this tutorial. So we have a high res and a low res option. The low res is great if you have a very heavy scene and you're just working on setting up your animation, then you can swap it out for the high res at render time. So we're gonna click on animated cloth 21. I already downloaded it, so we'll jump into Simino 4D and we'll import it. Let's go to our folder structure. And when you unzip that download, you're just gonna have a single uh, .abc file and you can click and drag it into your scene. And if you hit okay, it's gonna make a new scene. If we wanna import it directly into this one, what you have to do is go to file merge project, or you can just copy and paste it into this one. All right, so we're gonna find that 21, we'll double click it. I'm just gonna hit okay with the default and we'll bring that in. You can see that our cloth is down here. Uh, one nice thing to position it is to go to your four view and then you can see it a little bit better. We can just take that cloth and position it right around that P. Looks like we wanna make it a little bit bigger. So we'll hit T to scale, we'll scale that up. And then we'll just have to reposition that a little bit again. And let's start rotating this, sort of wrapping around this logo. So we can scrub through this and you'll see that we have this really nice animation pre-simulated and we can just wrap this around our logo and you can see how quick it is to work with. You don't have to do any of the simulations or caching or anything like that and it's really simple. All right, so we'll scrub through here. You can see that we have this cloth sort of enveloping our logo and wrapping around it. So that's looking really cool. One thing to note is if we do want to texture this, let's throw on a texture here. Uh, we also have UVs on here. So if we scrub through here, you can see that that texture is sticking perfectly. So you can put any pattern on without any problems. One thing to note is these do start flat. If we look at this plane, it starts flat and then the animation kicks on. You can really easily just go into this ABC file. And if you go into the options right here, we have a offset and you can just change the offset so that it starts at any point you want to in that animation on frame zero. So we'll start it somewhere around there and then we should be good to go. And there you go, with a couple clicks, you can add a very detailed simulation to your scene and your client doesn't have to know a thing. All right, hope you all found that useful and you enjoy the product. If you have any questions about it, just shoot me an email. If you need any good textures, this cloth texture is from our Redshift Texture Pack 5. And we also have texture packs for Corona, Arnold, and Octane. So make sure to check those out. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Ciao. Thank you.